Hey guys, welcome back to the Football Manager Save here on the Chesnoid Plays channel. F1 is just around the corner, literally just a couple of days away, but we've still our first season in the Premier League to finish off here before we get cracking on F1, or at least that is the intention. I certainly would like to finish this season before F1 comes out. If we don't, then we will still try and fit some Football Manager in around the F1 content to ensure that we do at least get this season finished before we uh, we crack on with the F1 game. Just to have some closure, basically. If we stay up, bang it. If we don't, it's not too much of a surprise, but we have started to strengthen in this uh, January transfer window. We've made a couple of changes. I'll show you the transfers now because I, I don't think I showed them in the last episode. So we have brought in Marco Friedel from Bournemouth for £1.3 million. Was playing regularly for them very well indeed in the Championship. He's going to come in and start at centre-back for me alongside uh, James Claridge. As low at Ajax isn't quite cutting it at the minute. And then we've brought in Destiny Udozi as well from Roma, a left-back on loan. There is a, a optional future fee, but we are not going to be triggering that by any stretch of the imagination. So we have a new left-back as well as obviously left-back has been a position where we've really struggled. Uh, in recent times, we have sold Ross Sykes. He has left us for 1.6 million to go to Queen's Park Rangers. Uh, barely played for me this year. Was average when he did. So just making sure we uh, we got a sell. We might actually made some profit on that. Because I only played a few hundred thousand. 200 grand into 1.6 million. That is not a bad turnover. Uh, and then we actually have recalled Alexander Baletic from... Uh, Red Star Belgrade. He's now back at the club because we have transfer listed Kayon Edwards and are hoping to have him move on out before the end of this window. It's a shame, but we're hoping to have him move on before the end of this window as we look to the future or look to a replacement because he just hasn't cut it at Premier League level, unfortunately. So, fingers crossed that goes through. Then Conor Masterson is currently underbid. He's going to go out on loan to Preston, it seems. If that does happen, then we might see what our finances look like once we've sold Kayon Edwards and maybe look to sign someone else at centre-back or just someone else in another position throughout the squad. We shall play it by ear. But the first thing to happen today is us to uh, head to the London Stadium to go and play West Ham. So, hopefully, we can get a decent start. I'm going to throw Friedel and Udoji into the starting lineup right from the off. Throw them in at the deep end. Uh, we're going to have... Akani holding. Darko Gabby is the Metzala. As ever, Butler on the right. Um, uh, we've been going with Shoker at Cam and then Michael Kelly on the left. And I will give the start to Zink. I won't start Beletic yet, but certainly that is the intention later down the line. We can name nine substitutes, of course. So let's name nine. Right. West Ham away. Probably going to be a defeat, but we'll wait and see what happens. Let's have a quick look at the lineup before we end the intro. Whilst I say, please do drop the video a like if you're enjoying. Of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you won't miss out on any more FM or F1. Uh, links in the description down below to the Twitch channel if you want to come across and join me live as well. You know, of course, recall all of my record all of my FIFA content for the main channel live now over on Twitch as well. So do come across and join me. Solid team: Emmy Wendia, Tangin Dombele, Michael Damsgaard, Rory Adams, Sander Berger, Bremer at centre back. So very good West Ham side. Pressure's all on them. So we'll see if we can go out and cause an upset. But I don't know as we will. We did manage to get a win in the FA Cup last time out though. But I don't think that's actually going to help. Considering it was against Bromley. So morale will be boosted. But it wasn't necessarily that much of a challenge. I compared the stats between Udoji and Javi Lopez. And there really isn't much between them. But supposedly Javi Lopez is only a two star player. And Udoji is like... Three and a half, nearly four. And I can't really figure out why that is. Which is perhaps why I'm struggling as much as I am this season. I can't tell the difference between a, a two-star two player and a three and a half, four-star player. Ah, Tangier Nobele. Good goal. You could just see it building. West Ham take a 1-0 lead. Tangier Nombele scores again. Of course, they are his first and second goals of the season because that's the way that it always feels like FM works. 
Yeah, it's just it. Sometimes that's the way it goes. You can go a couple of seasons without getting an interview at times. Obviously, hopefully you'll get an interview before that sort of time frame. But to have not had an interview by December isn't a massive surprise. If it was December season two, then maybe. That's a hell of a goal from West Ham. That is smack home and it's a beautiful team move. There was just no stopping that. Gibson to Perkins, Perkins to Fornells, Fornells to Hoybier, Hoybier to Perkins, take a touch, smack it, top bins. <whistles> yeah, can't really do much against that sort of quality, can you? GG, dude. You're flying. Did yourselves proud today? No, that was fucking, that was fucking atrocious is what it was. Awful, awful, awful way to start, but... Um, <sighs> Never mind, the only way is, well, probably down. Darko has decided to go to Manchester United, and you cannot blame him. There's a work permit decision in the offing, and unfortunately, he's going to go elsewhere. Kiabi's going to have to come out of here now. I'll put Akani back in. Change into a defending. Slightly... Try something different in the front four. I'm going to give Baletic a start. He's only five foot nine, so I'm not sure how well he's going to do. But Brentford at home is a game we might stand a chance of getting something from. We've got Etienne Green in goal. Jude Soon's up Bell up top. Aaron Ramsey at Cam again. Luke Mbete at centre back. Just signed a new contract to Manchester City in real life. Uh, I'll say let's get revenge on them. I remember losing to them last time. Uh, Shoka has the ability to play in a number of different positions. We're all over the place at the minute with regards to our results, but that's better than just losing every week. So we are slowly improving. Hey, he's find a last minute winner. That's not necessarily the way forward, is it? If if Brentford win it now, I'd be absolutely devo. Brewster, Marcio, Luis. Brentford look like they're in. Don't foul him. Oh. Of course, first goal of the season again. When it's not your season, it's not your season. This is the first game really this year that we have properly bossed. We have battered Brentford all game long. But Etienne Green has been phenomenal for them. And we've been a little bit wayward with our finishing. <sighs> that That's a tough one to take. A lot of the others are expected. But after the way we played there, that's a tough one to take. There you go. Two in then for us on trans well, throughout the course of the window. Friedel and Udaji. Kane Edwards sold to Traps on Spore. And Conor Masterson out on loan to Portsmouth as well as Cruiser on loan to Bristol Rovers. Editing Ches, if you remember and see this bit, edit this bit in. Right, now make that with Southampton beating Reading. We are now 11 points from safety. 11? 11! 11 points from safety. Holy balls, boys. That's not great. Jane Bogle and... Uh, Jane Bogle just doesn't have a good relationship with anybody, does he, down the right-hand side? Kasunitz is injured, though, so I can't play him. We'll play with the same team that, to be fair to them, played well, other than the change of sync for Balletic. The side that played really well against Brentford. Hey! But we've got a fifth-place Newcastle that are very, very good indeed. Erwagan Jakir. Mark Gave, Kai Tomori, Trevor Schlager, Ahmad Diallo, Hamad Traore, Harvey Vale, Leon Bailey. Blur. No pressure, lads. None whatsoever. That's a lovely ball through to Haduto, to Leon Bailey. The runner on the right is Ahmad Traore, and then he's buried it. Ahmad Traore, Ahmad Diallo. And he's buried it in the top corner. We are 1 0 down at home against 
Newcastle United. Come on, Mara, what we got? Not much. Oh, he's won that, though. Oh, Eduardo! Off the bench! He's banged it in the back of the net. We're level. Come on. One chance is all it takes. One chance is all we need. We lost against Brentford in the last minute. Can we win against Newcastle in the last minute? Or are we going to lose in the last minute again? Yes. Yes, we are. Bit of a meme at the minute, isn't it? This season. This whole season has just been a, a bit of a joke. Come on in, Ipswich. What have we got in the FA Cup? Please. That'll do. 1 0 Cambridge United in the 29th minute. An FA Cup run would be would be really nice, to be honest. It would at least give us something to take from this season. We've got a pen now as well. I missed that. Eduardo with the spot kick buried. 2 0 Cambridge United. We're going to end up being that Fulham, aren't we? Or that Norwich that ends up. Too good for the championship, but not good enough for the Premier League in that awkward middle ground. And Ipswich fight back in the second half, maybe? Maybe. Boyce Clark's not having a very good time of things today, is he? Getting a bit wayward there, and he was even more out of position earlier in the game. Thankfully, it didn't cost us goal on that occasion, but... If you're going to come for this, you've got to clear it. It's got to go further than that. He's punched it five yards. Is my squad quite young? Yeah, relatively. We haven't got that much experience. We've got players that have been with us a long time. But I think Jaden Bogle at 30 might be one of our eldest players, to be honest. We do have a really young team. Go on, Eduardo, you're in. Good lad. There was no missing that. What's the thumped home? Three two. Richard Ferenc. Um. Just about to make a change, but then there's a highlight. Don't make changes in highlights, Chess. You know this. I'm good, thank you. Forgotten perk. How are you, my man? Mauro driven. Michael Kelly, 4-2. What a diddle. Thank you very much for the follow, mate. I was about to tip. The change I was going to make was Mauro for Peter Bartlett, but he's just created another goal there, Mauro. A 4-2 win away from home against Ipswich in the Cup. Proving the side absolutely can play good football and win football matches. Now, if we could just do that in the Premier League, that'd be lovely. Although it's Tottenham Hotspur away next, so back down to earth will come with a rather sharp bump. Dean Henderson, Maxence Lacroix, Victor Mikolenko, Sandro Tonali, Pedro Neto, Luki Jovic up top. Jesus Christ. Pick off where you left off. We cut. We left left off last time against Ipswich, but um, no, we haven't had any of the luck recently. Lukiovic played in. Oh, and that's the quality you get from a player of that ilk. We don't have anyone that can finish that clinically. S seemingly this season, we don't really have anyone that can finish. Adam around the corner. Jovic runs onto it and just first time on his left foot with the most accurate of finishes. He's their new Harry Kane. Oh, that's a lovely ball. Oh, he's still going to get to it. Brilliant. Never mind then, eh? 2-0 <laughs> Tottenham. I said within 10 minutes of the start of the second half. It's within seven. Nice. Go on, Eduardo. 
Go on, Christopher. 2-1, back in the game. Oh, it didn't look off. He didn't look off. Goal awarded, yeah. I was going to say, it didn't even look that tight, to be honest. Because of the defender that was in front of him. Oh, he's not even, not even, even remotely close to being offside. What is that all about? That didn't need VAR at all. Are we going to see the VAR replay? We are. I mean, it, they, look, he's so far. He's in front of three of the defenders. Singo, Squero, Golo. 3 1 Tottenham. The comeback is dead. We've not been. What? Well, we've not been absolutely. Oh. The sentence I was saying there was. We've not been absolutely embarrassed in any game yet this season. We've not been like had the floor wiped with us in any game, scoreline-wise. I don't know why the keeper's trying to two-foot that rather than just catch it. It's inexplicable to me. Might, might just be a game engine thing. But we've not had... Like, we've had some games where, performance-wise, the opposition have certainly been the better team. But we've not had, like, a 6-0 or a 7-0 or a 6-1 or something where we've been absolutely trounced. That's probably the biggest defeat of the year at 4-1, isn't it? Arsenal with Aaron Ramsdale still in goal. Salah Marcus at right back. Kjolnkowski at the back for them alongside Gabriel and Kirintini. Noni Meloeke is in there. Max wants Kakare, Bukayo Saka. Gabi Martinelli and Gonzalo Guedes. Oh, no, it's Gerardo Gonzalez. Sorry, I don't know why I read that as Gonzalo Guedes. Um, Matthias Nunes on the bench. Luke Hernandez, Tommy Yasu, James Madison. Since Rooney took over, they have flown up the league. They were in the relegation zone. They're now very nearly top half. So, absolutely. They have the quality to be where they are. And we thought they would be. Ah, oh, it's a pen. It's not even, not even a, a difficult decision, is it? It's definitely a penalty. Martinelli buries it. I mean, as much as we've been under pressure for the whole game, I mean, I'm probably jinxing myself by saying this whilst there's a highlight with Arsenal in possession, but whilst it remains one, there's the chance of a point. There is the chance of a point. And now Gonzalez will score and make it two. There you go. In mind, I told you I jinxed myself in the future for this squad to develop to a side that can keep themselves in the Premier League. I'm sure when we make this save available to you guys to download at the end of this season, a number of you will download it and do far better than I have. 3-0 defeat to Arsenal. Never mind. 12 points from safety, 11 games to go. Burnley at home next is a game that we could win. Burnley's lineup has Alban Lafont in goal, Jack Stacey at right back, Sven Botman in defence with Sammy Laconga in midfield. Dwight McNeil is captain there now. They're not having a great season, Burnley, but they're certainly. Well, everybody's having a better season than us, isn't they? Aren't they? Sorry, good English says. We'll have our own stadium next season. And to be honest, I'm glad that we're not starting off life in our new stadium by having a terrible Premier League season. But this is certainly a game that we could win. Uh, rare highlight in this game with 10 minutes to go. Burnley in possession in their defensive third. Soon to be on the attack in their final third, you imagine. That's a lovely ball. It's a gorgeous ball out to Dwight McNeil. Men arriving in support. Burnley to steal three points, perhaps. Not the best of clearances. Sven Botman brings it back. Bastida, lovely through ball. That's excellent football from Burnley. He might have been offside, but they're celebrating with their arms up, which says to me that he was on. That tends to be the case. 
When players' arms are up, it means the goal is going to count. When players' arms are down, when they're celebrating, it means it's not going to count. And it does indeed count. We are going to lose to Burnley. Back down to 14 points. Yeah. Premier League survival has been just too much of an ask this year. Which is such a shame because this... this oh, it's a strike. Because the side is playing some really nice football at, at times. Obviously, we played really well to get up to this level. We evidently just made it to the Prem too quickly from the Championship. And it, it just hasn't worked for us at all. Freak it right on the edge of the box. This has to go in, surely. Lefay has already got one. Off the inside of the post. He couldn't really have missed by less, to be honest. We've had a decent game. Our XG is atrocious, though. Seven chances, but only an XG of 0.23. Not great. Not great. A 1-0 defeat. Again. Another game where we haven't scored. But this is just kind of a foregone conclusion now, isn't it? Okay, Miss Boss, I'm willing to experiment. Ah! Shut up. Send assistant. Oh, unfortunately, it's just been too much to ask for these, these boys to stay up this season. We haven't scored many goals at all. We've won four, drawn two, lost 22. And that's not going to help you stay in the division, is it? Started with a 3-0 defeat to West Ham. And it didn't really get better from there, did it? Six straight defeats in the Premier League today. In this stream, as well as the one victory in the FA Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. That will draw us to a close for this YouTube video. Do make sure you drop the video a like. If you enjoy, we're very nearly at the end of this save now. Or the end of this season, which will probably be the end of the save. But we might we might pop back. I will make the save available to you guys to download. Uh, those of you that pay on PC, of course. Uh, once we've finished this season. But for now, that's all for this video. There will be more FM today as you see this on the second channel. And of course, F1 starts later today on stream as well. Although footage won't appear on the second channel for a couple of days. Right, that's all for me for this one on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.